Let's continue with our scene. Last time we modeled the walls and now I'll show you how to make the floor and ceiling correctly. We can make the floor in two ways. The first one is to make it like the walls with a plane, but I choose to work with a spline, because it seems to me it makes the work a little easier. If you do it using plane, you have to create a lot of faces on the overall shape. There will be too many lines in the top view. And if you add furniture, it's hard to make out anything. We choose a line in the splines, and on the wall layer with a 2.5 anchor, we start outlining the contour of the room, namely the area with a separate type of floor. We make laminate parquet separately and tiles separately. We always focus on the layout of the material. This is how we select the desired zone. All points can be adjusted. When we have closed the spline and done everything, we apply the floor generator. By the rules, the lawn side should be perpendicular to the light source, the window. So let's rotate it to 90 degrees. Let's make the dimensions. To get rid of these stairs, we need to change the offset. Usually it's 30%, but it all depends on the type because there are different ones. This is how it turned out. We still have wet areas where the bathroom, kitchen and corridor will be. They will be tiled, so I am making a separate area. We also outline it here. If it so happens that the point suddenly becomes anchored somewhere far away, we continue working. Then it can be moved to the right place and brought back to life. Be sure to enter the doorway and form a joint of different materials in the middle, just like in reality. We have closed the spline. Now we will return the points to their positions. like that. We also applied a floor generator, but this time 900 by 900. We remove the offset. Last time I lowered the walls by 30 mm to create the floor. We did this to place the floor in the middle and close it hermetically with a floor from below because we have gaps between the dials and tiles through which light can enter. It can cause some unnecessary spots on the render, glare, bugs and additional noise. We lower our splines with the floor 30 mm down. We make the floor 29 mm thick and add a 1 mm chamfer. The same with the tiles. Please note that you need to focus on the beginning of the tile lane. The initial tile should be indicated on the drawings. Thanks to the offsets, we can move the tiles to the necessary spot. Next, I change the color of the objects to make the walls stand out better. And when we have the floor zones completely done, we need to create an overlap at the top and bottom. I select a spline and start outlining along the outer edges of the walls. We apply Edit Poly. Lower it completely down and make it 100 mm thick. We can copy this box to the top. Yes, we'll have a ceiling lowering, but some gaps should be closed. I make the ceiling transparent so that it doesn't interfere. 
When we have finished the floor, we move on to the ceiling. It can also be made with a spline, which is especially convenient when there are different types of lighting, spotlights and tracks. Very often spotlights are used, which look like small holes in the ceiling. This can be done with an ordinary circle and placed according to the references in the drawing. The distance from one wall is 1000 mm and 1500 mm from another one. The distance between these points is 20 hundred millimeters. And in this way we can place all the elements. You can center it as well. If we have built-in tracks, we do the same, but with a rectangle. I'll do it by eye. Next we attach all the holes and then we make the main volume of the ceiling. The same as the floor. If we need to make a hole for a wall in the middle, we go to create line and start outlining the needed wall. This method is very convenient and quick to create a shadow seam profile. This happens in a couple of clicks. We select the entire spline and make an outline of minus 20 mm. And do the same on the other wall. And we delete the previous line. And the most interesting thing is that we attach the holes. And when we apply Edit Poly, we have a single volume of the ceiling with holes for the models. We raise it to the height of the ceiling, and we make a 100 mm drop. Thus, all the openings are covered by the ceiling. Having completed these stages of the two videos, we can go drink tea and relax.